Hey guys, it's Lix here. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to the Outback SMP. Now, as you guys can see, things are a lot different from last time uh, I was recording on here and I've done a bit of stuff off camera and I'm just, it's not much, so uh, don't worry about it, but I will show you guys what that is right now. Yeah, so welcome back guys. It's episode three. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and you guys can see uh, there's a lot of stuff going on around here. And this is where my base is going to be. So I know this uh, seems like a lot of stuff I've made, but I've only really, uh, the only major thing I've really made is actually just this uh, this uh, little port here. And this little staircase is going up around here to where my chests are. Other than that, I found some sugar cane and just wait for it to grow so I can plant it all along here. And just place some saplings over there. Now I hope I don't get blown up by a creeper here, but you guys can see uh, over here, you're probably wondering what this is. Now this over here is going to be the layout for my base. Uh, right here is where the actual base is going to go. And this is all kind of going to be like a little walled area. Um, I need to fight these guys. Give me one second. So yeah, so, uh, we're going to do like a de desert theme uh, for my base. It's going to be pretty epic. And I've kind of just added some greenery around here. You guys can see this is where some saplings are going to go. I've added some bushes. And it's going to be like a nice, uh, like a fertile piece of like a desert. Now you guys can see my chest right here. I have some iron horse armor, which I believe... Uh, Ethan XA you got from this uh, desert temple over here and I thought in this episode would probably try and get a horse uh, because I have a lead you guys can see in this chest over here so it shouldn't be that hard and we have some hay bales as well so we can make like a little horse area and maybe make a stable uh, I also wanted to do a little bit of work on my base uh, this episode and show you guys uh, near spawn as well because I think Ethan has done some pretty epic stuff so uh, let's go over there right now so the reason I kind of made this port area is so I can have a place for my boat because I believe I haven't actually gone down here But I believe this river goes all the way down to uh, near spawn I can just go back down here, and it's a bit faster than running down All right, so I think this is where the river stops honestly It's not that big, but uh, it doesn't honestly really matter So you guys can already see this area over here uh, which is where Ethan X used that he would build his base. He ended up actually doing some work on. Now all this was on his stream, so if you guys want to check that out, he's made this uh, food stall over here, which I think looks pretty epic. Uh, I don't think he really sells much, but uh, it's over here. And he's kind of got this walled off area uh, right over here, and I believe this is where his base is. Yeah, so you guys can see that's his base right there. He he already has a horse and he has a few uh, sheep. And down here he has uh, his like just normal like kind of village farm, a uh, sugarcane farm. And over here, a cactus farm. So he's done a bit a bit of work, and I think it actually looks pretty epic. Alright, so we're kind of in the plains by him now, and I'm trying to look for a horse. Because uh, I did see a few few around here uh, when I was last over here. Came over to check out Ethan XAU's base. But uh, I can't seem to find it. Oh, okay. There's a few horses over here. And some down here. So I'm going to see uh, how good these horses are, and see if they're actually going to be uh, going to be my new horse. Alright, this horse has a lot of health, but he may not have that good hide or anything, but we'll just see if we can tame him right here. That, he's actually pretty fast, honestly. And his height seems to be pretty good. Um, I'm just going to test that. I'm going to place some blocks up here. Alright, so we can test this guy's height right now. He's pretty fast, honestly. Uh, he's good enough for going around. And uh, we can add, uh, let's see how high he can jump. Alright, so he can easily jump three blocks. What about, what about four blocks? Get away from these zombies here. Okay, that's pretty epic. He can jump four blocks, guys. That's pretty sick. Honestly, he has he has a lot of health, and he's decently fast, so I think this is going to be our new horse, guys. All right, let's suit him up, and you guys can see here he is. He's actually pretty nicely colored, and uh, let's just ride off into the uh, sunrise. Pretty epic, if you ask me. All right, I think I may have gone the wrong direction, but I see two of those uh, little fountain things over there. That's pretty interesting, because those are normally pretty rare. I will eventually uh, make a horse stable for him. I think I actually might do that this episode. And I think we're going to put him like around here, to be honest. Uh, we could have him like right next to here and he could have a little stable up here. I honestly think that might be pretty good. So I'm just going to clear out this area here. All right, so I'll put down two fence posts here so it doesn't look too uh, too ugly. And I'm going to try and just make like, a little stable for him. Now I want this guy to have a uh, good place, uh, at least for the meantime. Alrighty, so we can just make a small little area over here. Nothing too big, of course. Um, we we can always expand this later.
Let's just quickly run over to our four crafting tables. Okay. And there we go, we got like a nice little stable for him. I may have actually, okay, he's jumped down. Oh, here we go. Here's, uh, here's Ethan. My horse has ran from me. Went to get milk. Alright, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna leash this guy up and put him in here. Uh, so if you grab him like this and put him in there, and now he has his own like a little stable. We, I'm gonna quickly go grab some hay, and uh, Ethan's telling me to unmute. Hello, Mister Ethan XAU. Hello, hello, hello. Mister. Hello, Mister. It's click. S seems you have a horse. Yes, I do. I do have. Oh, a horse. your horse is like one heart better than me. Yeah, he's he can jump four blocks and has uh pretty. He's pretty fast as well. Did you see that in the chat? I lost. And I had, and like the only things remaining were the iron and, and my freaking cobblestone. <laughs> uh, and all my tools were gone. I have my chat disabled. That is, oh, that is unlucky. Um, is. I actually, I have like no iron. I have two on me and I think like two in this chest and that's all I have. Yeah. Um. That sucks. Yeah, it really does. But yeah, you can see I've made, I've made a little stable for my horse. Yeah. I'm gonna look up a tutorial for my stable for my horse because like it's in the sheep and I really don't want to Where are you building your house, Tommy? Alright, so I've got I've got a I've got like a little plot over there. It's pretty yeah. pretty epic. Right, hello world, subscribe to Thinks AU, it's in these uh featured channels. Facts, facts. So, um I'm gonna leave now. All All right. Right, have fun. Alright, bye. So I think Ethan's just gone now. I think he's going to get his items back because it seems he's died in lava. Let's add some hay bales around here. And I think my horse's place is actually pretty complete right here. It actually has a purpose for this uh thing over here. Alright guys, so I think we should start doing a bit of work on my base right now. Because all it is is just really a plot of land. Um, I may be using a tutorial. Um, be quiet, I'm really bad at building. Anyways, so... I think we're just gonna start now, and I'll cut back to you, to you guys uh, when it's done. So yeah. All right, guys. So uh, we're back right now, and I've done a little bit of work on the base. And honestly, I haven't done much. I've done the walls, and but it looks pretty good so far. I've made the entrance, the walls, and the walls for the inside of the actual base. All right. So let's just pro gamer move MLG water bucket down there. Not even close. No full damage. Alright, so you guys can see I've done a bit of work on the walls, so this is all the main wall really is. Just a few, a few blocks up with uh, these slabs on top. And then here, this entrance is like, honestly pretty good. Yeah, so it's a very uh, complex, very architecturally complex archway, and it's pretty nice honestly. You guys can see these are the main walls for the inside, again not much. Uh, these are pillars I just made it get up, don't worry about that. Anyway, so honestly, it's pretty epic. But yeah, so I think next episode we're also going to do a bit of work on that. But uh, right now I want to harvest this shoe cane and start making it all the way around here. Because I kind of want it to travel all the way around this bit of island here and all the way down the river. Alright, so let's just get to that right now. Alright, there are a lot of mobs around here and I need to collect the rest of the sugar cane that I dropped. Uh oh. Alright, so I'm just going to plant all the sugar cane down on this side and probably do some on the other side. So I'm just filling in on, on every block. I may actually terraform this a bit later. But, uh, let's just bring it down here because when people come from like spawn to my base, they'll see this and they'll say, hey, that's a pretty cool base. That Right, so we've done quite a bit all the way down here with the sugar cane. I'm just going to do some around the other side with this last uh, 21 that I have. I kind of don't want to do it directly in front of my base, so I may leave this part right here. And I'll just start around about here. I think this is pretty good. Alright, that's all we can do over there. Let's get you out of the video game. And alright, so when this grows, this should be pretty good. And hopefully it won't cover my base too much. No, 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 no. I saw what happened to Filza. Not dying. To one of you. Okay, I think my helmet just broke. Jeez, alright. Alright guys, so we're back, and as you guys can hear from behind me, uh, we have done a little bit more work on the base. Uh, so pretty much, 
all I've done is, it took me a while to do, but I actually had to get all this grass here, which is you're probably thinking like, oh, you know, that's not that hard, but it is when you're in a desert because for grass to spread, you need another grass block, and to continue the grass, you need one grass block placed next to it so it can like move over. So I had to actually kill an enderman to get one of these grass blocks, find a bunch of dirt, dig out all this, then place it in. And after a while of just AFKing, it managed to work. So I've actually added some doors onto here, right here. And I've started a little mini farm over here. And this isn't really that sufficient for food, but it does look pretty nice. So that's why down here, I am working on making some more layers for the farm. So we can have like just layers going down here, the farm layers. And that should be pretty good and we should, hopefully we'll have enough food. Now I've just added like some bone meal around here, but this is probably one of the biggest areas I've done. So I've just made a little pen and I managed to find two cows, which I've now bred into the bred into these ones. Uh, I know there's not many, that's because I just uh might have just killed a bunch. Anyways, yeah, and it's behind here, this thing over here is just some waterfalls, three of those. I th thought it would look pretty nice, so I was like, why not? Now, coming on to the biggest change is the house. And I finally actually I think I've finished this now. Or at least partially. I do need to add some window slits into here, uh, but we can do that in another episode and off camera. It's not that hard, it's just mining a few blocks out. But if we come in here, I did manage to get some banners from Ethan's sheep farm. But if you come in here, I haven't done the floor, but I do have some little tables and some barrels just for storage. And a little area for my bed, bedside table. But I will definitely decorate this more with like bookshelves and all that. And yeah, I don't really know what a lot of these rooms will be. I'm assuming this one will be storage. And this one right here, I've got some stairs going up. Uh, and you can actually go on the top, there's uh, some little uh, beach chairs and tables, and honestly, I think this looks pretty nice. So you guys probably saw that my horse had diamond armor back over in my base, that way, right over there. And that's because I actually found a, uh, a mob spawner, and there was a bunch of armor in there. Now, over here in the actual horse pen that I just built, um, I've actually got two other horses. These are just some other horses I'm going to be breeding which I found, and they're gonna be good, so we're gonna try and find the best horse we can. Now, coming over here, you may be wondering, uh, what did you do? So, one of the new members of the SMP, uh, the Master R, or as we call him, Ryan, he managed to hook me up with all these bookshelves, because I had enough diamonds, so I just crafted an enchantment table, but he fully maxed it out for me, and I thought that was really epic, so, uh, got on your Master R, you guys should go subscribe to him, he just recently started making videos, so, uh, help him out, guys. That would be pretty epic. And, yeah, so I think that's gonna be the episode done, guys, because we did... I think our base is mostly finished, and it's been a pretty epic episode. We got our horse, we did some of that. And, yeah, so probably the next episode, uh, Ryan actually told me that he found a sea temple, so we might be going to raid that uh, in the next episode, getting some good gear. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, I'm more alive for my dick shit, and I'm getting tired of all the same shit. I wanna see my family, wanna see my friends have been slept on like my name.